Well, good morning, everybody. Morning of day 26. Coming at you from the Appalachian Trail still. We just did starting our first climb of the day, leaving Jerry Cabin. And we're in this nice open pasture this morning. We are on our way up to Big Butt Bald. Got about another mile to it. Just spin you around here and show you this grass grass road we're on. We were on switchbacks, now we're on a grass road. And uh, we're pushing north. So stick around and uh, follow us. If everything turns out good today with the weather, we got a decent day ahead of us, mileage wise. Well, nobody, brother, these are the days that we were talking about. We were waiting for them. I wish you were here. I hope you're healing up, getting better. But we're going to spend most of the morning walking through this giant field and just rolling grass hills. I know we talked about it, but you're here with me. Heal up and get back out here. Man, look at that campsite. Wouldn't you like to stay there? Oh, perfect. Beautiful morning. Good morning to you too, birds. We are on the top of Big Butt Mountain. We are above the clouds. Let's look at east. Still got morning sunrise. Pan down here real quick, show you the medallion. Alrighty. I'm a hot sweaty mess right now much better and there's that view behind me I can see my breath up here a little chilly all right let's push on should be downhill for the most of the day now big butts complete so there hasn't been a whole lot to film this morning pretty much since Big Bud, it's been all downhill and some real steep parts, so. Just been cruising right along at a pretty good pace, but we are just now coming to our first stop of the day at this shelter. And what do we got here? North, south, waters that way. There's the shelter sign. There's the shelter over there. And let's go take a look. Oh, what's this here? All right, so Devil's Fort Gap, 2.7 miles to the left. And the next shelter going north is 8.7 from here. That's our goal for the evening. But we're gonna stop here, get water, and have a snack. Let's check this shelter out. Stick with me, boys and girls. We'll show you an Appalachian Trail. Shelter. Here we are. Well, that's a nice plaque. This is Flint Mountain Shelter. There you go. Fairly decent one, too. And there it is, built by the volunteers of the Carolina Mountain Club in 88.
and they got tent spots up over there. All right, break time. Well, there wasn't nothing to see since uh, our last snack break at the last shelter, but here we are coming into Devil Fork Gap. It's just a road crossing. I'm gonna push on another, another mile to Laurel, I think it is, or Rector Road, Rector Laurel Road. We're gonna stop for lunch, but uh, here we go. Let's check this out. Looks like that is 212. Put on these steps. And there's a trail across the street. No traffic. This is where you would go to Laurel Hostel, apparently. Yep, pushing onto the gravel road where Laurel Hostel will be. And there you go north. Up the stairs. This is cool. Down the stairs. Through the fields. Here we go, another lemon squeeze with a step. Got a high step over that. Oh, get the poles over. Think thin. There we go. Sorry about that. I get my poles up and over. And just like that, here we are on Rector Laurel Road. And there is signs for the Laurel Hostel to the left. Down the road there. Which we don't need any of that tonight. We're gonna make it to town, or make it to the next shelter. And here's the trail here. We're gonna stop on the other side here and take us a lunch. Me, that is. Keep saying us, it's just me. And uh, there's a little, little stream, little creek. And look at that television. I might get caught up on some shows while I sit and have lunch. All right, and the footbridge. All right, let's get some lunch. So after our lunch stop, we've been climbing and climbing back and forth, but check this waterfall out. We're about not even a third of the way up the mountain. And there's this big, this big old beauty. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous. And it just runs all the way down the gully that we've been switched back and back and forth all the way up. I think I'm gonna get me a fresh bottle of ice cold water and uh, press on. Just been climbing this mountain and cruising the top ridge line for the last, I don't know, hour I guess. And come across this view, look at this. Holy moly. Wow, look at the highway way over there. See if we can punch in on that. It's crazy. Yep, right there. Wow. That is a spectacular view. Whew. With them ridge caps way back there, the mountaintops. That one's a bald up top. Wow, absolutely gorgeous. And then this is our last major climb of the day here. Let's get at it. And finally, we've made it. Oh, Hogback Ridge Shelter. Ooh, all right. Let's, uh, that's the trail going north right there. And this here is us down to the shelter. 
All right, so let me get down there and then I'll show you the shelter. All right, here we are. Hogback Ridge Shelter. Again, by the Carolina Mountain Club. Another nice shelter. So, I'm wore out. It's been a long day. It's late. And uh, my watch has been acting up, so I gotta do a reset on it. So I got some electronic issues I gotta take care of tonight. Again, that's my problem, not y'all's. So we're gonna head down that way and get water, because according to the book, it's like 0.2 down there, which means it's 0.2 back. So that's a bonus of 0.4 miles. See that math on camera. We got bear cables right there. Let's see if you see the shiny things. That's the mouse guards, rat guards. And then uh, down this trail right here is where the privy's located. So I just got here. I think I'm gonna stay in the shelter tonight. I'm gonna set up right over here. I'm the first one, so I got pick of the litter, even though it's late in the day. I'm coming here and see let the light readjust. There we go. It's not as nice as the first shelter today that we had a snack at, but it's still pretty decent. Logbook stuff. Got my gear there. About to grab my water bladder and go fill it up. So I don't know, looks like I sleep six, maybe seven. Heck, possibly eight. I think there's only gonna be at least three or four of us here tonight. I'm Come across a couple new hikers last night um, that ran into just doing miles. All right, well, let me get water so we can get end of the day wrap up, and we'll be back. Hey everybody, welcome back. Welcome to end of the day wrap up. Um, I got the sun right in my face. It's getting getting low in the sky, so lighting is not optimal, and it's a little chilly out. So uh, all in all, good day, long day, some good climbs right at the end of the day to make up for all the downhills we had first thing this morning. So let's get you flipped over, show you the book, and uh, get this wrapped up so we can maximize our footage for the day. All right, here we go. All right, so we started right there at the Jerry Cabin Shelter at 301.8, and we had a climb right out of the morning. Pretty decent climb, and then we went downhill. And we were downhill after, right there after Big Butt Mountain. So after we did Big Butt Mountain, which took us up to 4,800 feet, it was downhill. It was mostly downhill the rest of the morning. You saw we stopped there at the Flint Mountain Shelter for a snack and continued downhill. We stopped right there for lunch at the Rector Laurel Road. That's where we had our lunch and that's where the climb started. And it was significant all the way up and it kept going up. And then as soon as it dropped down the backside, it started climbing again. And we ended the day right there at Hogback Ridge Shelter for 317.3, 18 miles. And today is was a 15.5 mile day. We're sitting at 4,300 foot at a six person shelter and I'm the only one here. So should be a quiet night and get an early start tomorrow. Let me get my, get my dinner turned off there. That's what that noise was. We got dinner going on. Tonight's mac and cheese with an epic beef bar and some chicken. And we got the electronic scramble going on. But that's all. Um, appreciate everyone for coming along. Thanks for sticking through the whole video if you did. And we'll see you in the morning like we always do. Have a good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.